Hello. In this exercise session, we'll be on our hands and legs to support our torso. So just take that as a consideration. If being on your hands and knees doesn't feel good to you, specifically in your wrist, you can always take a towel under one or both wrists and put the heel of the hand on it and or try rotating that arm bone as works best for you. You can also try supporting it on some yoga blocks there that often makes a big difference for people. All right, so here we go. Come onto your hands and knees, wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips, spine nice and long. Take a deep breath in, let your tail and heart lift as the ribs reach forward towards the floor in front of you. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face. You can also sit back towards your heels. Your feet can be in any orientation that works best for you. Great. Again, come forward, tail lifts, heart lifts, arch and extend. Great. Round your spine, hips go back, curl. Really great job. Mm -hmm. And again, come forward, invite the air in, tail and heart lift. Ribs reach forward towards the floor between your hands and knees. Exhale, ribs press back towards the sky behind you. Mm -hmm. One more time. Again, coming forward, chest up, extend, arch. Really great. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl and around. Really nice time. Come forward and arch. I'm going to give a three-quarter turn so you have a better view, but you can stay where you are. Reach one leg out long to the side here, please. Now, all you're going to do is just arch your spine here like we just practiced. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, sit back as far as you have comfort, rounder. Come forward and arch. Really lift your tailbone up as you push the floor down. Lift your heart up. Great job. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl and round. Really good. And again, come forward and extend, arch, pushing the floor down. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl and round. One more. Forward, arch and extend. Big breath in. Very nice job. Exhale, curl, chin to chest, tail to face, round. Come forward, lengthen, arch, and then release the arch a little bit there. Don't pull the ribs down to the floor so much. Now, this long-legged foot, I'm going to try and mobilize it. I'm going to lift the outer edge of that foot up. So the pinky toe edge of that foot lifts up. You'll feel how the sh hips shift away from that foot. And then bring it down. That's all you do. Again, lift the outer edge, the pinky toe edge up and then bring it down. Again, lift up gently. Very good job. And bring it down. Two more. Lift up easy. And return. It may not move as much as you would like it to. Don't curse at it. No big deal. And return. Now, the harder one, the less motion. You're going to try to push the hips towards that long leg and try to think of lifting the big toe edge, the inner edge up, and then release. It's not a big movement. Again, the hips moving will help you get that inner toe edge to at least think of lifting and release. Again, the inner toe edge is trying to lift up. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Again, getting that ankle to be strong and mobile is a good thing. And release. One more time. Again, lift the inner edge. Uh huh. Now we're going to go also between them. Lift the outer edge. Hips go away. The pinky toe edge. Return. Then lift the inner edge. Hips go towards. Mm -hmm. And you can feel how your rib cage turns to face away from the pinky toe edge when it lifts. And it turns towards the big toe edge when that one tries to lift. So when the hips go away, the ribs can naturally twist away. When the big toe edge lifts, you can look and gently towards that foot. Again, inhale, twist away. Great job. And exhale, twist towards. One more time. Again, easy. Twist away. Really great job. Gentle. Reach and twist towards. And then bring that knee down. Feel free to shake your wrist up. I'm going to the other side. You can stay right where you are. I'm on camera. You're not. So there's a big difference there. Other leg long to the side. Toes face as far forward as you can. Chest up. Tail up. Ribs go towards the floor in front of you. Breathing in. Now as you exhale, chin to chest. Tail to face. Curl and round back. Beautiful. Heart goes forward and up. Inhale. Really nice job. Exhale. Chin to chest. Tail to face. Curl back around. Again, invite the air and shift forward. Big breath in. Push the floor down. Rise above. 
exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl back and around. Two more there. Again, relaxing your shoulders, evenly pushing the floor away. Shoulders are not coming up towards your ears, just relax them. Curl back and round, big exhale. One more time, again. Draw the air in, come forward, chest up, extend, arch, really beautiful. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl and round. Come forward, chest up, invite the air in, arching, and then stay there and just release the arch a bit. Now, that pinky toe edge of this foot, try and lift the pinky toe edge of the foot up, hips shift away and then release it, that's all you do. Pinky toe edge lifts up, release. It may help you lift it up by looking away from it, easy, and then return. That will help your rib cage twist away as well like we did on the other side. Now that you know what the motion is, you can add a little bit more to it, easy. Mm -hmm. Return, now here's the other part. Now, hips shift towards, that will really help. Shift towards that leg, try and lift that big toe edge up, and then release. Whew. Again, you can look towards that foot. That may help you. Four. Great job. Release. Again, you can look towards it. Oh, three. Great job. Again, easy. Lift the inner toe edge up. Oh, one more time. Again, try and lift the inner toe edge up. Mm -hmm. Now let's do a combination. Lift the pinky toe edge up. Your hips go, your hips go away from it. As you return and lift the big toe edge up, you can look towards it, hips go towards it, twist towards it. You can twist away from it as the outer edge lifts up. Twist towards it as the inner edge lifts up. Again, easy, outer edge, great job. Breathe, inner edge, breathing freely. Two more, outer edge rises, mm -hmm. return, then inner edge tries to rise. That's right, return, outer edge. Now, if you really think of pushing the pinky toe edge of the floor, foot down, that'll really help you get that inner edge to lift a little passively. And then release, two knees down, so you can shake out your hands. Great job, and wrists. Let's come on to one elbow and the same side hip on the ground. Top hand to top knee. You're gonna inhale, pull the thigh back, let your heart go forward and up gently. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, forehead towards your kneecap. And if you can't quite grab onto your ankle, well, you always have a towel there, right? Or a strap to help you gain some purchase. Easy. And then bring the knee towards your forehead only as far as you have comfort, no pain or strain. Again, pull it back, chest up, pushing that floor away from you, arching. Exhale, curl forward, round, two more. Again, with that bottom arm, you're pushing the floor away, Chest up, open arch, uh-huh. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl and round, just flowing through it. Inhale, arch, now we're gonna add on to this. As this leg comes forward, you're gonna slide your hand up the back of that leg, stretch it, still bringing your forehead towards your kneecap as far as you have comfort. Then bend it, grab onto it, pull it back, chest up, arch, pull the thigh bone back, stretch the leg gently, forehead towards your kneecap, four. Again, easy. Glide it back up, open, arch, the legs draw together. Exhale, stretch it forward kindly. Three, just two more. Inhale, glide it back, very good job. Exhale, bring it forward, mm -hmm. one more time. Again, inhale, glide it back, really great job. Exhale, curl, bring it forward. You got it, and let's flip over to the other side. Really good work. So you're resting on your bottom elbow forearm, but you're not letting your head and shoulder come together. You're pushing that floor away from you actively the whole time. Top hand to top ankle. Pull the thigh bone back, let your heart go forward, arch your spine, really good job. Now still push the floor away from you, bring that forehead to your kneecap, chin to chest, tail to face, rounding your spine, great job. Push the floor away, draw the thigh bone back, arching, really good job. Exhale, curl and round, four. Again, use a towel, use a strap around this ankle. If you can't grab onto it, no big deal, easy. Exhale, curl, and round. Two more, again. Pull it back, chest goes forward, shoulder blades draw together, arching. Push that floor away from you. With the bottom arm, exhale, curl. One more time like this, vanilla. Inhale, draw it back, arch, really good job. Exhale, curl, forward, and round. Here we go, draw back, Arch, easy. 
Now, as that leg comes forward, slide your hand up the back part of the leg, try to make it straight, and forehead towards your kneecap only as far as your personal comfort. And then bend it, draw it back, inhale, yeah. Then exhale, stretch, curl, round, four. Very nice. Again, draw it back, arch, so they draw together. Exhale, round, breathe deeply. Yeah, just two more there. Push that floor away. You can always take a break. You can always use the pause button, no big deal. Curl, round, uh -huh. one more time. Again, pull it back, open the chest up, arch. That's right, push the floor with that bottom arm, curl and round. And that was really, really great. Let's come to sitting, please. Oh, wardrobe. Take your hands behind you, feet wide apart, knees bent. Let your knees twist to the same side. Let your heart lift up as you arch. And exhale, return center. Knees go the other way. Let your heart lift up as you arch. Oh, that feels so good. And your chest sinks to return. Adjust as you need to with your hips on the floor. I'm pushing the floor away, of me, away from me with my arms. My shoulder blades draw together as my heart rises. My shoulder blades separate. My heart sinks. Easy. Relax. The elbows can bend a bit there. That's fine. Push the floor away. Chest up. Extend. Arch. Really nice job. Exhale. Sink your chest to return. Two more like this. Inhale. Push. Chest up. Arch, really great job. Exhale, sink to return. Adjust your sitting position as you need to. Again, it does tend to walk you forward. Inhale, arch, open. Such a good feeling. That's right. Exhale to return. Now your feet are wide apart. Take one hand to the opposite, set, opposite side knee. Your hand is there to help you keep that leg very still. With your chest facing forward a bit, rotate the other knee and hip down towards the floor and then return and switch sides. Hand on the knee, opposite hand to knee to keep that, help you keep that leg still. Keep that leg still, keep looking forward even though the knee is falling in and down. Great job. Return, switch sides, easy. That knee falls in and forward and you try to face forward as well. We're trying to get the hip to really internally rotate there. Easy. So if the knee is falling in and you're twisting, away from that leg falling in, you're decreasing the range of internal rotation there a bit. Just realize that. It's not wrong. Just a different, just a different exercise. Easy, easy, gentle. The goal here is to get that thigh bone to actually rotate inward. Breathe deeply. Return. You'll have an, uh, more success doing that if your chest faces gently forward. That may mean that your knee cannot go as low as you wish that it would. Don't worry about it. If you wanted to go lower, you would just practice more over time by yourself and eventually it'll get slowly, slowly lower. But again, everyone's different. Your knee might not ever touch the floor and that's not a condemnation on your practice or your efforts, right? We're all very different. That was really, really great. All right, let's come back on to our hands and knees with one leg out long to the side because you knew we weren't finished with this, all right? Now, I'm gonna lift the same side as long leg arm up, twisting to that side. Easy breathe. I'm trying to lift the inner arch of that foot up. My hips twist towards that foot. You knew that was going to come back into play. Now, as I reach under the other arm, I'm going to lift the outer arch of that foot up, bending my standing elbow, twisting, bringing my earlobe shoulder towards the floor gently, only as far as you have comfort. The outer edge of that foot is lifting up. And again, inhale, you can rotate your pan on the floor, that's fine. Lift the inner toe edge of that foot up, arching your spine. Exhale, lift the pinky toe edge up as you reach under, four, great. Lift the big toe edge of that foot up, twist up, chest up, arch, that's right. Lift the pinky toe edge up, reach under and curl, mm -hmm. two more. Again, inner edge up, big toe to heel bone, arching. Pinky toe edge up, reach under and spiral. One more time like this. Enjoy the simplicity. Big toe edge tries to lift up, twist towards it. Hips shift towards it. Hips shift away. You can rotate your hand on the floor, no big deal. Pinky toe edge lifts up, great job. Inhale, arching. Big toe edge up, stay here. Two hands down, leg stays. Now, that was the easy part. 
this other part may not have as much joy initially, but you'll find it eventually, the, the, the reverie. Now, you're going to lift the opposite arm of straight leg. You're going to twist away from that foot, so you're lifting the pinky toe edge up. Arching your spine, take your time, take your time. I know, I know, I know it's a whole new world there. Now, as you reach under, bend the other elbow, the hand can rotate. The inner arch of that foot lifts up and you reach towards the ankle, earlobe, shoulder towards the floor. And again, twist away, chest up, pinky toe edge of the foot lifts up, arching your spine. That's right. And then the big toe edge reaches up, you look under. Great job. Again, inhale, twist up. Arch, rotate, that's right. And exhale, reach under. Yeah, two more. Again, inhale, pinky toe edge, lifts up, arching. Really great job. Exhale, big toe edge, reach under. One more time. Inhale, pinky toe edge, arch up, rotate. That's right. Exhale, big toe edge, reaching under. You got it. Pinky toe edge, lift up, arch. Yeah. You did great. Two hands down. That long leg, cross up behind the other knee, bending it. So knees are crossed, feet are wide apart. Let's have this angle here, right? As you push back to stretch, the front knee may or may not lift. Curl back, round your spine. Great job. And then come forward, inhale, extend, arch. Really great job. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, Curl back and round four. Really nice work there. Come forward, chest up, extend, arch. That's great. Take your time, easy. Curl back and round. Breathe deeply, three. You're doing really well. That front knee may not lift, who cares? Come forward and arch, do what feels best for your body at this time. Exhale, curl back, round your spine, two. Really great job there. Come forward, arch, and extend one more time. Great job. Easy, chin to chest, tail to face, curl back and round. Really nice, everyone. Come forward, chest up, extend, arch. Now, pay attention to what knee is in front because that's now the leg that's gonna go out to the side long, right? So whatever leg was in front is now the leg that's out to the side long, right? On our hands and knee. We're gonna lift the same side arm as straight leg. Let your chest lift up, arch your spine. So you're twisting towards that foot. So you're trying to lift the inner toe side, the inner edge of that foot up from big toe to heel. Now, as you reach under, lift the pinky toe edge of that foot up. The other arm can spin on the floor, and that's fine. Twist under, bring your earlobe shoulder gently toward the floor as far as you have comfort. And again, twist towards, lift the big toe edge, arching, and that's right. As you reach under, lift the pinky toe edge, reach under, spiral. Great job. You may not look like I do, and that is ideal, because you look like you. Breathe deeply. Lift the pinky toe edge, breathe deeply. So even if your range of motion is not what you might wish that it would be, do not stop. Do not just say it's not going to happen for me. Just practice as best as you can. Breathe deeply, too. You are not making the video. Who cares what you look like? Easy breathe. You don't spend hours and hours and hours a day, most likely, exercising. Mm -hmm. Like the people that you are following. Easy breathe on whatever media they may be watching. And then bring two hands down. That was really, really great. Now, I know, you remember this part, right? It's like the coffin opening. Slowly, the opposite arm of straight leg in a twist. Push the floor away. Because you're twisting away from that foot, lift the pinky toe edge up and it will actually help you twist a bit more. Take your time, arching. Now, as you reach under, big toe edge, feel free to spin the hand on the floor, any of the works for you. Reach the earlobe, shoulder towards the floor, hand towards ankle. Great job. Again, yeah, pinky toe edge up, arching your spine. That's right. Big toe edge up, curl and round. Great job. Pinky toe edge up, arch, twist. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Big toe edge up, curl and round. Uh huh. Inhale, arch, open, stretch. Yeah. Exhale, reach under and spiral. Oh, that is so delicious. Only one more. How did that go by so fast? I don't know either. Pinky toe edge up, arching your spine. That's right. Big toe edge up, reach under and round. Great. Inhale, twist up, 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 up. Finish strong. And then two hands down. Now that long leg, take it behind the other one, knees bent. Knees are crossed, feet wide apart. 
hands are comfortable in front of you, under your shoulders. Round your spine, elbows try to stay long. The front knee may or may not lift, who cares? Curl back, whatever feels good for you. Come forward, chest up, extend arch. See, it's lovely. Exhale, curl back, round your spine forward, taking your time. Lovely. Come forward, arching, inhale. Nice, everyone. Again, exhale, curl back. Round your spine, relaxing your shoulders. Three, nice, everyone. Come forward, chest up, extend arch. Just two more there. Excellent job. Easy. Curl back, round. You're doing a really great job. Mm -hmm. Come forward, extend and arch. One more time. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face. Curl and round your spine. Nice work there. Come forward, arch, extend. Uncross, really great job. Kind of come back onto one hip and the same side, elbow, hand, right? This time, the bottom leg is straight. The top foot is on the floor in front of you. And that foot could be anywhere that works for you. Still pushing that floor away from you. Top arm is long. Feel free to have the bottom knee be bent, knee down to make it easier. You can start there as you push the hips up, reach the arm overhead, looking forward in space away from you and then return to make it more intense you don't have to the bottom leg would be straight and the knee lifts off the floor if you can push and stretch four really great job inhale to sit return really good pushing that floor the whole time stretch up and over three good everyone easy gently return just two more again easy drive push the floor away from you too Really nice, everyone. Inhale, gently return, just moving through it fluidly. Again, easy side bending one way, yeah. And then the other. And just flip over, other side, over before you know it. So again, bottom leg can be straight or bent, top foot's in front of you, that top foot can be anywhere that works for you. Bottom arm down, push floor wheel, start with the bottom knee being bent, as we did on the other side. Push, the bottom knee can stay down, as the arm goes overhead to side, so to make sure your eyes and chest Look out into space in front of you. And then control the sound without letting the shoulder come up to your ear. Bottom leg can be straight, you don't have to. Keep it on knee bent. If it's straight, try and lift that knee up off the floor. Push the floor away from you. Stretch four. Nice, everyone. Gently control the descent, side bending the other way. So you push up, side bend. One way, let your head go with you. Three, great job. Slowly, gently return down. Just two more there. Again, stretch up and over reaching yeah to see it's not so bad and then sit down with control one more time great job again push dry side stretching oh yeah, yeah, yeah and then sit gently down see and that part's over with now let's sit here with your hands behind you feet in front uh-huh fingers face whichever way works best for you personally take a deep breath in now, as you push down with your arms and legs, let your heart lean back, push the floor away from you. Let your eyes look wherever makes the most sense for you. Looking over your knees is fine. Looking up where the wall and ceiling meets is fine. Looking to the ceiling is fine. The further back your head goes, the more intense and aggressive it is on your neck, but that's totally fine. And then return down as long as you're comfortable. Remember, you're pushing the floor away actively. Shoulder blades do not press up towards your ears. Easy, push down strongly. Lean back and look wherever works best for you. Breathe deeply for, good everyone. And slowly undulate down, great job. Again, push, drive, up, breathe deeply, three. Excellent work, easy, gently return. Two more there. Again, push, drive, up, reach, very lovely. Uh, sit down with control, one more time. Again, easy, push, drive, open ah such a good feeling and gently sit with control let your knees twist to one side easy you can look towards it that's fine and then return and let your knees go the other way oh such a good feeling mm -hmm. let's do it again feels too good to stop easy rotate twist that's really nice great work and bring it back and one more time adjust as you need to easy rotate twist that was most excellent gonna lay on your back here and just hug your knees to your chest easy if this does not feel good to you you can grab behind your thighs if that does not feel good to you you can take a towel or a strap behind the back of your thighs to make that more supportive for you it all is 
very acceptable and groovy. Just giving your back a little rest here. Easy. Breathe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Put one foot on the floor. Slide that leg out long. Take that same side hand as long leg to the opposite side bent knee. Take the bent knee arm out long to the side. Now, as you gently pull the leg across your body, your eyes can stay on the ceiling. Only twist as far as you have personal comfort. Take your time. Easy breathe. Gentle. Control. Take a nice breath in. And exhale to return. Great job. Hug both thighs into you. Easy breathe. Relaxing here. Great job. Release the other foot down and slide it out long. Now there is nothing, if you want to shift, shift, shift your hips one way or the other here, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't really have one huge impact one way or the other besides what you might enjoy or what you prefer. Take the opposite side hand to that bent knee. Same side arm as bent knee out to the side. Gently take your time. Eyes can stay on the ceiling. That's the gentlest place for your neck to be here. Easy. Take your time. Twisting. Breathe. You can also look towards the leg that you're mm -hmm, pulling across. Looking in the opposite direction is the most aggressive on your neck and really, really intense. And I wouldn't say necessary. Easy. Big breath in here. Enjoy. Relaxing your jaw, teeth, shoulders, and neck. Such a good time. And then slowly return. Great job. And hug both thighs to your chest. Again, holding on whatever works best for you. Easy, gently. Take a nice inhale here, relaxing your shoulders. And exhale, release one foot down, two feet down. Yeah, and roll over to your side. And voila, you're done. Congratulations. See, that wasn't so bad. That was a lot of great full body range of motion, really opening up the ankle hip connection through your knee as well. I hope you enjoyed your time today. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to exercising with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care. Bye-bye.